Welcome back everyone to another video. Today we are working on the bus. The goal is to strip out the back of the interior all the way down to, well, whatever's underneath this plywood, and then insulate the floor and put the carpet down. Pretty much transform this crappy old moldy plywood into a nice, comfy, carpeted floor. But yeah, as far as I know, it's just a layer of plywood, and then underneath that, it's metal. So we just have to take out this plywood, and it's held in by these um, square top bolts. So uh, it's really a game of will these bolts come out or will I need a drill mount? And I really hope it's not the later. Oh yeah, came right out. This is a self-tapper. This bus is held together with self-tappers. That didn't take very long. So instead of trying to remove this plywood floor, what we're gonna do instead is just insulate over it. The whole reason why I wanted to take this floor up in the first place is because I thought it was really moldy. It turns out this really isn't mold. What it is is just glue residue. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot easier, a lot quicker. Yeah, there we go. We got everything we need. So the frame for the floor is finished. It's looking pretty good, nice and strong, nice and tight. Uh, the one thing is that it took way too long to do this. The sun's already starting to set, as you might be able to tell. So um, now we have to fill each of these empty spots with insulation and then plywood over it. So yeah, let's get to work. I'm not leaving here until I'm done. Nothing's going right. Everything's going wrong. We got two inch thick insulation and a four by two. Turns out four by twos aren't two inches tall. They're an inch and a half tall. It's like, it's a four by two, not a four by one and a half. This is gonna be the third time I've gone to Home Depot today to return stuff. Yeah, this is, it's not fun. <laughs> it's, it's like a 20 minute drive each way. All right, we got some thinner insulation.
So, the foam insulation is in. I think it looks freaking awesome. Everything fit really well. No gaps. It looks it looks sweet. And guess what? The floor, it's warm. The wall is cool. It's working, kind of. Oh, I just crushed it. It looks like an RV. It, it, I'm really excited. Now we're gonna go ahead, cut some sheets of plywood and throw it on in here. We're gonna glue it and then screw it in. Let's go. It's kind of spooky out here. Well, I'm done. I have to do some sealing up, but I ran out of sealant, so we'll do that tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, I mean, it went really well. It was just time consuming, a lot of cutting, fitting stuff, making sure it works, a lot of screws, and yeah, but it looks really good. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks good, it feels good, it smells good, and it's strong, and it's warm. <laughs> My butt's warm. Being at the shop this late is like really spooky. It's really windy out, so there's so many creaks and everything's moving around and I'm like really creeped out right now. So I wanna go home and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't like being here alone. It's like in the middle of nowhere. My phone's dead. I'm gonna get murdered. Part of me just wants to like sit down and sleep in here. I'm so tired, I don't wanna drive home. My back also really hurts. All right, time to go to school. Fuck. All right, now all we have to do is lay down some sealant so we make sure that no water gets underneath the wood and no mold. So we're gonna seal the gaps in between each thing of plywood and between the wall and the floor. Well, the sealant isn't the prettiest, but 
that doesn't matter. All this is going to be covered with carpet. The reason why we put the sealant in here is to make sure no moisture gets underneath the floor because that would cause mold and bad smells. We don't like that. And that, my friends, is gonna be it for today's video. We went ahead and built a new floor with insulation. Why, may you ask? Well, now when we wake up in the morning, the floor won't be cold. A lot of effort went into this just to make sure our feet don't get cold, but uh, I think it's worth it. It also looks a lot nicer. It smells better. We sealed everything up so the, the metal floor won't get rusty. It's just a good thing to do. A lot of people don't do this when building an RV bus, but it's kind of like the more legit thing to do, so I'm glad we did it. It feels so much nicer in here. It looks so much nicer. Obviously, it needs some carpet, needs some good looking stuff, but damn, son. My back really hurts and I'm just like really sore from working on this all last night, but uh, it turned out good, so I'm happy about that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the this video. I know these aren't the most exciting thing to watch. We're not supercharging anything or turbocharging anything or doing skids or anything of that, but um, I really enjoy it. I'm learning more stuff and it just feels really good to build things and make it like look nice in here. And hopefully you guys enjoy it too, because we're turning a freaking school bus into an RV and it's gonna be awesome. A couple more days of working on this bus before we can get it to a point where I can drive it down to Georgia. We just have to finish it before November 6th, which is why we're rushing on it and we're focusing on this for now. After November 6th, after we take it down to Georgia, it won't be only bus videos, so don't worry. The other cars, the other projects, they're still going on. Um, we just need to finish this before going to Georgia. Really what we have left to do before going to Georgia, make a hitch, get a trailer, put a carpet in here, put a bed in here, um, fix the sound system because it's trash, and get some other towing stuff to help me tow better. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share the video, that really, really helps. Subscribe if you are new. I don't know if I said that already, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Also, screw this weather, it's 30 degrees outside.